This is the narrative on Kazakh state television. A round-the-clock operation to catch or kill up to 20,000 so-called terrorists responsible for the recent unrest with seizures of weapons and hard liquor. Regretfully, peaceful demonstrations in Almaty and some other regions were hijacked by perpetrators and both local and external terrorist groups speaking foreign languages. To back those claims, state media broadcast a foreign national's public confession. He says he's unemployed and from Kyrgyzstan, who accepted from unknown persons the equivalent of $200 and a plane ticket to fly to Almaty and take part in the violence. But it's fiction. The man is Vikram Ruzakhunov, a celebrated jazz pianist with 27,000 fans on Instagram. We are expressing our outrage that the Kazakh special services and government are manipulating the Kazakh people and showing Kyrgyz people as enemies. It is really, really bad and it, we are shocked about it. And uh, Vikram is well known worldwide. What about uh, people who are not so well known? Officially, more than 5,000 people have been detained. We worry there could be torture used against them, but also they should be immediately given access to lawyers. Relatives should be able to visit them. There should be, people should know where they are, who is in detention where. This is vital for Kazakhstan to have some sort of shred of um, adherence with its human rights commitments. The Kyrgyz authorities say they're working to get Vikram released. They say he travelled to Almaty with his mother for a music performance. There may well be evidence criminal groups were involved in the violence, but the Kazakh authorities appear to have chosen the wrong man to build their case. Robin Forestier Walker, Al Jazeera.